When artwork is placed together, it usually consists of multiple different objects all working as one. But that can be kind of a headache if you are trying to select and move a whole group of objects all together. For example, this speaker is composed of different objects, such as the center circle for the speakers, the, uh, the musical note right here, and the outer background. All of these can be moved independently, which can make working with the, the different pieces fairly difficult to do. Now you can always drag over the entire object to move it as one, but that can be a little time consuming. An easier way to handle this is to go to the object menu and select the group command. This will cause the entire object to be selected as a single group. Then a single click will select the entire group and let you move them all together. These objects here have been grouped and it makes, you, it makes it much easier to work at a higher level by moving the groups around and not having to worry about the individual pieces. You can also see groups in the layers panel by scrolling down through the different objects. If we look at this phone group, we can see that it consists of several groups and groups within groups. Groups can be nested, which makes them convenient for working with individual pieces within pieces. For example, we've grouped this entire icon, all of the objects in this icon together. But if we select ungroup, then the group is broken and they're all individual icons once again. But what we can do is select the pieces that make up the background and group them and then select everything else minus the background pieces and group them and even when this object is grouped with multiple groups, we can still access the individual objects using the group selection tool, which is located as a flyout underneath the direct selection tool. We can come in here, and even though this object is grouped, we can select and work with the individual objects that make up this group. This allows you to work with, to select and move and work with the individual pieces, even though they are grouped all together. Learning with groups will enable you to move and work with large pieces and collections of artwork much easier than you could otherwise.